Subscriber. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing in the super welterweight division. And our three judges are William Boudhu, Harry Davis, and Alan Davis. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, the third man in the ring will be Rocky Zolnierczak. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he's wearing blue trunks trimmed in white and weighed in at 153 and a half pounds. Coming to us from Hungary, his record consists of 12 wins, eight defeats, with six of his 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zoltan Schurman. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing blue trunks with silver trim and weighed in at 152 and three quarter pounds. Coming to us from Ajax, Ontario. He is undefeated with five wins and two of his five wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Brandon Bad Boy Cool. Fighters to the center. Okay, guys, I went over the instructions in the change rooms. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Come out fighting. We got a big Brandon yeah. Cook fan base here tonight. Yeah, you can hear sure them do. roaring in the crowd. You know, I think he'll feed off that energy and be bringing the power shots early in this fight. Talk to me about the thought going in here when you see the tail of the tape and coming in at your first time against a guy with 20 professional fights under his belt. Yeah, I mean, it's a step up for him, but, you know, he showed in the early part of his career that, you know, he doesn't take a backward step, and he's he's willing to beat everybody they put in front of him. He is only 5-0, and but in order to make it in the big world of boxing, you got to go at least 10-0 and to be, you know, in any main event TV fight. So, you know, he's, he's on his way. Buxton Promotion is doing a great job moving him along so far, and he's doing a great job by beating the people they're putting in front of him. Let's see how tonight goes. Well, Zoltan Sermon has been a pro since around 2000, and the Cook just started amateur boxing in 2005, so he's aware that uh, he's the more inexperienced fighter in this one. As again, he says, I just can't be too anxious in there. Got to wait for my opportunity. And sometimes it's how quickly you can figure your opponent out that is the difference. This one, a six-round bout. So far, it doesn't look like Zoltan has a ton of energy. He just seems to be in there kind of just contemplating his next move, but not really acting on any of his uh, impulses here. And he throws a couple. You gotta wonder with Buck working from the outside, how much does he maybe in the first round want to work on stuff from the outside because he knows at any given time he can step right in. I'd like to see him establishing the jab early in the fight. He's a strong kid, and even the jab can hurt you as a professional without that headgear to hide behind. Goes to the body. Nice job to double up. Tries a to nice right knee. uppercut. German back to the middle of the ring. You can see, you can see Sermon just backpedaling a little bit. He can anticipate that punch coming and he's taking that first step back. He's gonna get caught doing that and Cook's gonna take advantage of that. Well, nice shot right there by Cook to the body. He has those body, yeah. big walls up in front of his face, so pick apart the body right now. Even though we haven't seen a lot of action, I don't see this fight going too long. No, it looks like Cook is all business in the ring. He's in there, he looks really focused, he looks strong. You can see in his body that he's in good shape. And I do think it's a matter of time before he lands the final blow in this fight.
Ten seconds left in the first round. Cook taking three quick steps forward. Overhand right. Tries to follow it up, but has to reset again. And just when the round comes to an end. I expect to see much, of, much more of the same as the first round. But I expect Brandon Cook to open up a little more. Take and a I, few I'm more predicting chances. the fight ends in this round. That's just me, guys. Right, Brian Mackey going out on a limb. Why not? Uh, let's see if the bad boy can help you out with this one. Comes underneath. Sermon over top. Tries with the combination. Doesn't connect on either one. That's straight left. Hook trying to work off that. This old 10 doesn't seem to be so flat-footed in this round. He seems to be picking it up a little bit himself, but I'm sticking to my prediction. He's a wily veteran trying to feel out the, uh, the young kid in the first round. Nice combination from Cook. Goes to the uppercut. Back to the body he goes. He's really ripping those body shots. Zoltan will be yeah. feeling those for sure. There There's it is. one, and Zoltan goes down. A big left hook to the ribs. Well, guys, in my Sportsnet <laughs> debut, have you said that you've picked the right boxing analyst, <laughs> boxing professional here? It ain't over yet. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right, but... I'm not saying you're wrong. And again, there's another left to the ribs. It's a left hook and to the body. And going down is Sherman. That left hook to the body is just crushing. I think we picked the right analyst. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed being here with you guys. <laughs> and you look at the eyes. Of Brandon Cook, he's going to finish it off with that left. There's an overhand right. Cook is trying to finish day. him off in the middle oh, of the ring. And Third time he goes over. down. And down goes, down goes, goes Brandon Razor. Brandon Cook gets the win. Well, guys, I could just see from the outset uh, Zoltan being, he wasn't comfortable in uh, Mississauga tonight at all. He looked cold when he came into the ring. He had no sweat on his body. He was flat-footed through the first round. And it was a matter of time for Cook. And as I predicted, it was the second round. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, when you get hit to the body that hard and twice in a row, the recovery time is next to impossible to finish a round when it happens so early. Sometimes it's the wind that's knocked out of you. Sometimes it's the kidney or liver, and it's sore. And that second punch to the body doesn't even have to be as hard, and you're going down. It's a knockout to the body for Cook. I scored a six-round knockout in the Hershey Center against uh, the uh, Trinidadian champion. A left hook to the body. You can't recover from those. I've been hit with those shots, and I've landed those shots. And in both cases, they hurt. Even when they happen at the end of a round, just that time in the stool doesn't give you enough time to come back the next round. It, I've heard fighters say, I'm, I'm a coach, and I've heard fighters say, I could never get knocked down. But when you get hit perfectly on the chin or in that liver, you don't have a choice. You're just down. It's not like you think, oh, I need to go down. You're just down, looking up, going, what the heck am I doing down here? A big TKO for Brandon Cook. Let's go to the ring. Here's Thomas Driver. Yeah, you Ladies see his and here is the official time. <laughs> One minute, 36 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Rocky Zolnircheck, stops the contest. Your winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Brandon Bad Boy Cool. Big second round TKO for Brandon Cook and that was an impressive victory, Brian. Yeah, you know, he, he did everything he had to do. You see Tyler Buxton is his promoter. Uh, seems to be putting the right people in front of him, but he also seems to be doing the right thing by destroying them. He knew he had him hurt. He knew that he had to finish it quickly. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no time. You get a guy hurt, just like, a, just like an animal. Get all over him, finish him off. The animal instincts kick in, and you finish your opponent. Because if you don't, it could be trouble later. In the ring with Brandon Cook is our own Roger Wardell. Thank you, Doug. Brandon, tell me what the game plan was tonight, and uh, you'd, I take it you delivered it to perfection. Yeah, we've been training for like eight weeks hard. This is the hardest training camp I've ever had. I just wanted to relax, put my punches together. This is my first time at 154 pounds. 
felt great eating right. Just want to thank all my sponsors, uh, my promoters, everybody that came out tonight. Thanks everybody for supporting the show. I couldn't ask for a better night. Talk about your opponent, Zoltan. He didn't seem like he came out on the attack in that first round. He had the big shields up. When did you decide that his body might be where I can attack him? Uh, I watched him fight a couple times on YouTube, and um, we were working on setting it up and then touching the body and finishing upstairs, but I felt um, it was a pretty good performance, but next time I'm going to come in even better. Can't wait. You told me before the fight you had about 260 family and friends here in the Hershey Center tonight. It sounds like a whole lot more. Yeah, I guess everybody likes coming out supporting the show. It's all because of you guys. You got to keep coming out, supporting next September, next show. I'll be, I'll be bigger and better next show for sure. Thanks for coming out. All right, thank you, Brandon. Brandon Cook still undefeated. Doug?